have a short survey. Tell me something about you. We will see real-time Power BI dashboard, and then I will understand who you are, and I will present to your priorities. What number would we wait for? Okay, thank you. I think we'll wait for the submission count. What do you think? Maybe 40 people and then I will continue. This is a good example of a Power BI dashboard. <coughs> it is in fact a real-time dashboard. Okay, but the technology behind this, we have Azure Stream Analytics and Power BI working together to deliver real-time information in the dashboard. Okay, what interests me is that we have people that have maybe zero background with reporting services a zero background with Power BI. So what do I do tonight? Do I talk to the zero people, or do I talk to the middle, or do I talk to the experts? What do you think? I think it's fair that I assume that nobody knows anything about Power BI Report Server, and nobody knows anything about reporting services. Thank you, 63 submissions. Interesting for me is to know what topics you would like to know more about tonight. So Power BI reporting is number one. I'm sorry, but Excel reporting is a good topic, but not tonight. <laughs> so if you want to know more about Excel reporting, I recommend you go to your local Excel user group. Uh, mobile reporting. This is an old topic. <coughs> if anybody remembers DataZen, DataZen was part of the SQL Server 2016 release. This is no longer relevant. Anybody that is interested in mobile reporting, you will be interested in Power BI reporting. And lastly, the two for paginated reporting. Because the two topics I want to talk to you tonight and demonstrate are in fact the Power BI reporting and the paginated reporting. Who are the two people here? Who are the two brave people? One and... <coughs> there were two people. Okay, I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to talk about this. All right, let's begin then with... <laughs> let's begin with a quick overview. All right, how the I? <laughs> what do we do? I think last time you held a microphone for me. Okay, I think I was here in 2018, and uh, you held a microphone. Can I have a microphone now?
Hello, testing. <laughs> is this better? Okay. The conversation we're having tonight is the world's come together for Power BI and for reporting services. All right. Some of you have said you have not worked with either. So let me introduce. Firstly, Power BI is Microsoft's data visualization service in the cloud. Do you see the cloud? Okay. As a cloud service, it allows you to connect to any data, to prepare that data, to enrich it with calculations, and to visualize it. We visualize it in web browsers, we visualize it in real-time dashboards, we visualize it on our phones and tablets. Okay, reporting services is an older product from Microsoft. In, first, in fact, does anybody know the year that reporting services was first made available? And by the way, I have shirts, caps, and umbrellas up here. Who knows the year that reporting services was first delivered with SQL Server? No. Nope. 2008? No. 2000? 2000? No. <laughs> Any more guesses? Or does somebody know? Yes. 2005. No, somebody already asked. No. 2000? No, somebody already said. 2016, no. <laughs> 1997, no. Okay, I'll give you a clue. It's between 2000 and 2005. 2003. No, no, no. 2001, no. Say it with confidence one more time. 2004. 2004. Okay. It's a little bit of a trick question because the first time we saw reporting services, it was released as part of SQL Server 2000. But not the original 2000 release. It came four years later and was part of SQL Server 2000. And then a year later, we had an improved version of reporting services. So. You would like a cap, a shirt, a mouse pad, or an umbrella. A cap. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so, we have two different reporting services. One that was delivered in 2004, and Power BI that became available in 2015, 2016. They are both services that are concerned with reporting. Is SQL Server Reporting Service is a cloud service for reporting. Is it? Reporting Services, is it a cloud reporting service? Nobody wants a cap, nobody wants a shirt, nobody <laughs> wants an umbrella. Okay. Here's, here's the history that matters for tonight. This is an on-premises reporting service. Power BI was written and delivered as a cloud service. And of course, there's a difference of over 10 years. This is more modern, but this is still very mature. So what I'm about to describe to you is that we can bring them together to give us the best mature cloud visualization set of services. All right. So, imagine Power BI report server that is a superset. It is everything that you know with SQL Server reporting services, and it delivers Power BI reporting together. All right, so it is designed for an on-premises installation. I introduced to you that Power BI is a cloud service, but Microsoft delivered Power BI report server only for installation on premises. Perhaps your organization today does not allow data in the cloud, or the data is very sensitive, and it's not a good idea to deliver that in the cloud. You have the benefit of keeping your data and your reports on premises with Power BI Reports Server. Now, 
when you do want to move to the cloud, you have a path. All of your development effort, efforts in Power BI Report Server will migrate when you are ready, if you are ready, up to the cloud. All right, so are we clear about Power BI Report Server? Everything you know about SQL Server reporting services plus Power BI Reports is delivered to this product. Now, that delivers to us a tool called Power BI Desktop. For anybody today that works with Power BI, you are probably familiar with Power BI Desktop. Okay. It is a reporting tool. What else does it do? <laughs> so it is a reporting tool, but is it something else? <laughs> RDL? RDL? It is not an RDL tool. I mean, uh, analysis, EDL, SS, and SSAS. What does SSAS deliver for us? Analysis, uh, warehouse data. Okay, so what it delivers is modeling. Analysis services as a service delivers models, multi dimensional models, tabular models. These models are developed for data analytics, high performance query, filtering, grouping, summarizing, and what Power BI Desktop gives us is the tabular engine for modeling. So it is two things. It is a modeling tool and a reporting tool, cap, shirt, mouse pad, or umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> An umbrella. Okay, so here's the thing about Power BI Desktop. It is the tool that we use to develop models and develop reports for the Power BI Cloud Service. Guess what? Power BI Report Server on-premises also uses Power BI Desktop, but it is a special dedicated desktop for the Report Server only. Okay? So if you're going to work on-premises with Power BI Report <coughs> Server, you will use a special version of Power BI Desktop. Why is there a special version? Okay, here is the problem. The Power BI service in the cloud updates how often? Umbrella, <laughs> t-shirt, mouse pad. How often does Power BI service update? Five minutes. Every five minutes? No, how often does the functionality update? Every 15 minutes? No. Every day? No. <laughs> once a month? No. Somewhere between once a month and once a day. Once a week. Who said once a week? Okay, all right, once a week. The Power BI service in the cloud updates once a week. T-shirt, cat, umbrella. <laughs> If the Power BI service updates once a week, imagine new capabilities, bug fixes, improvements in performance. The on-premises Power BI report server knows nothing about this. Its release cycle is maybe every four months. For this reason, there is a different Power BI desktop. The one for the cloud service updates every month to keep synchronized the features with the cloud. The Power BI desktop for Power BI report server, maybe every four months. Okay, so I reckon that is a good start for my introduction, then I give you some demonstrations. And then we explain why tonight this topic is relevant to SQL Server 2019. Okay, is that a good story to tell? The last thing I want to explain is that you have different ways to develop and consume reports. With Power BI Report Server, you can use Power BI reporting, and you can also use the older RDL reporting, which is the original reporting that we have had since 2004 with SQL Server. All right, so you have choice, and you can deliver to desktops, you can deliver to mobile device, you can embed into web apps. Are we ready? for some demonstrations.
Do we want to start with the new or the old? Uh, okay. Do we wish? Do we start with the new or the old? Who said old? You want a T-shirt, a cat? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. You were the first to answer. What would you like, cat or mouse pad? <laughs> okay. You come see me later if you change your mind. <laughs> All right. If you are going to install Power BI Report <coughs> Server. Um, you will have the ability through a web browser of your choice. Today I use Chrome, but I could use Edge, I could use Safari, I could use Firefox. I can connect to the Power BI Report Server. This is what the portal looks like. Okay, it looks like I'm in the cloud service. This is the cloud service. This is on-premises Power BI Report Server. All right, what I'm going to do is a quick update as an administrator. I'm going to apply some branding. And what we'll see is that I have who's heard of the AdventureWorks Bicycle Company? Nobody's heard of the AdventureWorks Bicycle Company. <laughs> it is the sample database that comes with SQL Server since 2000, right? In fact, it was written for reporting services. Does anyone want to guess how much money Microsoft spent creating the AdventureWorks databases? Yes. Three dollars? <laughs> I think the answer is close to one million dollars. Okay, to build a, a sample data set that would demonstrate all of the reporting features and the new features in SQL Server 2005. All right, if you're not familiar with AdventureWorks, um, that means you probably haven't used Microsoft documentation. Because every time you research something like a T-SQL function, the example is always AdventureWorks. So tonight, I'm going to use AdventureWorks and rebrand the portal. This is what the cloud portal looks like. This is what our on-premises Power BI report server looks like. All right, the home folder is the very root. It's like the file system. You create as many folders as you like. And what I'll demonstrate to you now is that I have already pre-developed a report using Power BI, uh, sorry, using uh, Report Builder, okay? So what you see here is a report that I could have developed 10 years ago. The technology really hasn't changed. And then when I run this, what you see is it produces a multi-page report here. This is a good example of what reporting services can do. My invoices, my management reports, my dashboards could be developed in this way. So let me go ahead and file save as, and we'll publish this to the report server. So I'm connecting to the Power BI report server. And I will publish this report. Maybe, maybe not. My second approach is I will upload the file. So what I'm uploading is a file known as an RDL file.